Hey everyone's Jackal Wolf back in Sky Factory 4 with another 5 minutes. That's how I did it. If you've been following along, you know that we are working our way through the advancement book. Uh, last episode, we did the uh, amber is the color of my dinosaur, as well as we made the ironwood tree and the oh, the irony obtained an iron ingot. So this is a big, big step in a Sky Factory 4. Uh, this leads us up to bonsai pots and hopping bonsais. And I could have done the bonsai pots right from clay, but um, it's kind of a trade off in that you get less from each one and you to constantly harvest them whereas if you're planting your trees you can kind of focus on exactly what you need so uh, either method works really really well but uh, one thing I want to point out is uh, in between episodes I just made a bunch more iron amber so I could make uh, some more iron ingots for this uh, this episode here and I made myself a, a wooden hopper uh, or a whopper uh, and forgetting that that was an actual achievement that is a age of storage achievement right here there is that whopper craft a wooden hopper so um, to do to make a whopper or a wooden hopper it is simply one chest in a crafting table with five pieces of wood planks and that gets you a wooden hopper now the difference between a whopper and a regular iron hopper is that the whopper only has one uh, item slot so this is perfect for feeding something into say like the melter where you're only you know ever ever going to feed one item in at a time uh, another option would be if you're you know pouring once or pulling one single item out of a storage um and you just, you don't need those multiple uh, storage slots. Uh, if you are pulling multiple items, like multiple different items, then you definitely want to go with the iron uh, hopper. But now this episode, we're going to work on a couple of different advancements. Uh, first up is going to be the uh, craft and iron bucket. Now it, we've used the clay bucket so far, but anytime we go and move lava with the clay bucket, we end up losing it. So uh, right now, what we want to do is create ourselves a iron bucket. And we're going to come over here, iron bucket, simple vanilla, three iron ingots in a crafting table, but that gets us our not a helmet uh, advancement. And if I've got enough cobblestone, we can go and we can refill uh, that tank there and you see we can't keep that bucket. So that is a really, really handy thing. Uh, next up is we're going to focus on making ourselves first off a bonsai pot and then a hopping bonsai. Now to make a bonsai pot, we're going to first need a bunch of clay. Uh, in a furnace will get us bricks. If we take those bricks and five bricks in a crafting table in a short U will get us a bonsai pot. Now to use a bonsai pot, simply we've got to place it in the world and then we need to fill it with a piece of dirt and also we need to supply a sapling with it. Now these bonsai pots only work with saplings. They don't work with any of the other wheats or uh, you know beets or any of the other growing items. It is simply the saplings from the bonsai trees that work in here. Actually, I think even the apple tree will work as well. But given time uh, in a bonsai pot, your uh, tree will grow up uh, nice and small. And once we hit that 100%, we will have to take an axe. The only way you can harvest from here is with an axe. And it's taking a little bit longer than I thought. I could have been uh, doing some other stuff. So we're now at 100% here, uh, but there's no way to pull this out of uh, out of a regular bonsai pot, except with an axe. We're going to right click on that. And you see, we picked up a little bit of wood. We picked up one piece of resin. I think we picked up two sticks and two acorns and some leaves. So uh, the drop from uh, the, the bonsai is very, very random, but it is quite a bit less than what you'd get from a full growing tree. Um, also, since you've got to manually, you know, harvest the it, it is not a super efficient way of, of going about it, but it is nice to have sort of a backup and you can kind of, you know, run through your world and, and harvest them. But what where these bonsai pots become really, really useful is once we upgrade them to a hopping bonsai. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to harvest this. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to wait until that's 100 percent. We're going to harvest. We're going to take that tree out by right clicking again, and then we're just going to break that bonsai pot. We're going to come back over here to our crafting table and we're going to need ourselves a regular hopper. Now to make a hopper, a vanilla Minecraft hopper, it is simply one chest in a crafting table with five pieces 
of iron gets us that hopper. Let's put that hopper back in there with the bonsai pot and we now have a hopping bonsai pot. Now where this becomes really really useful is the hopping bonsai pot will automatically harvest uh, the tree as soon as it is growing and put it into any sort of storage container. And while we're at it why don't we go and make ourselves some fertile soil. Now depending on the sapling that you are growing it is it will use a different soil in the bonsai pots and certain soils will give you a little bit of, uh, I guess, a buff or a uh, different growing output. So if we go and we use, you can see all of these trees are flipping through the different uh, gr uh, dirt blocks that are that will work with this. So a cottonwood sapling will work with fertile, ruby mulch, brown mulch, a uh, red mulch. You can see the growing time as well as the drop chances are changing dramatically with that. So depending on what you want to focus on, you may want to put a different uh, soil in there. But right now, the easiest soil for us to make, the easiest upgraded soil that we want to make is the fertile soil, which is simply one piece of dirt in a crafting table with one piece of bone meal. Now, previous uh, versions of uh, Sky Factory and, you know, stone block and that uh, you require quite a bit more bone meal or even zombie flesh in that uh, to make a piece of fertile soil. So that is a really, really nice uh, return on that. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. We're going to take the hopping bonsai and we're going to place it on top of a storage container. Now this will work on chests. Uh, this will work on the, you know, the cabinet like I've got here. Uh, pretty much any storage container uh, will work. Uh, I've decided to use the cabinets uh, in my world because eventually you can double them up and make them too high uh, into one cabinet. So uh, th there's a lot of different ways of doing it. It's going to come down to, you know, personal, personal preference. But let's right click that piece of dirt in there. And then now we're going to take this ironwood sapling. We're going to pop it in. And you can see it's going to grow a little bit quicker and I'm going to get a slightly different drops. I should note that I've already got one piece of iron resin in here and a bunch of iron saplings from when I was manually doing this over here. But uh, if we watch right here and as soon as it hits 100%, we should be okay. Um, the nice thing about the hopping bonsai is that it will do this continually. It will continually pull uh, trees out. See, it's automatically harvested it and replanted it. Well, I guess it always stays replanted anyways, but that is really, really good. We open up, we got a stick, we got some wood, we got an iron acorn, and we might have even got a sapling out of that. It's tough to say. Let's just keep this one open here while we're at it. And any second now, we should see... Uh, this is always slower than I thought. So there we go. We got some leaves. We got some more iron uh, acorns, and we got some iron resin. So. I while it is generating a much, much slower, it is doing it constantly. So where, you know, if I'm working here, if I'm AFK or whatever, it is constantly uh, pulling items out of that storage system and putting it into whatever container I've got below. So uh, that is going to be it for this one, guys. But first, let's go and just double check our achievements. Uh, we did get the um, the uh, bucket uh, quest today. Uh, as well, we also got ourselves the uh, hop to it, craft a vanilla hopper and the whopper, even though I kind of did that one uh, by accident earlier on but uh though that's gonna be it for this one guys uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video uh if you did please think about leaving a like and a subscribe uh, you can follow me on twitter at jackal wolf uh also there's a link below to my discord page i would love it if you stopped by to say hi uh as well i've been streaming uh modded minecraft on saturdays at 8 p.m mountain standard time uh, i would love it if you stopped by to say hi there we will we are right now playing some of sky factory 4 uh and that's probably not gonna change anytime soon. But uh, thanks a lot, guys. I will see you next time. Goodbye.